Welcome. In front of me is a Norzo 50i Prime and today I'll show you how you can go through the setup of this phone. So to get started, when you boot it up for the first time, meaning the device, you will be presented with the language selection page. So choose your desired language. Now for me, it already selected a correct one, so I don't need to do anything extra. Just press continue. Now this will then tell me to select my region. As far as I know, I don't really see any benefit of choosing the correct one, so I'm just gonna stick with United States. Legal information. So here we have a couple legal things that we need to agree to. So we're on the smartphone user agreement, uh, security, uh, user privacy and security, whatever. Um, user experience, which has optional. So yeah, we need to select the first two. Now, obviously, if you want to read what you're actually agreeing to, uh, then you can tap on this eye icon next to these two to read exactly what the, these are. From there, go to the next page, which will allow you to connect to your Wi-Fi. I don't think this is a requirement and try to skip it to see. Yep. So I can skip it if I don't want to connect to it. Now, by skipping this and also not inserting a SIM card for mobile network, a Google login page will not show up, show up throughout the setup process and additionally, date and time usually is set incorrectly. But if you decide to connect to either one of them, meaning mobile network or Wi-Fi, uh, then obviously it will be the other way around. So date and time should be set automatically and you will see the Google login page. Now, going back to this page right here, we have some Google services. So we have location scanning and sending a user and agnostic data. Now we can tap on an arrow to read exactly what these are. And if you don't like it, turn it off. From there, scroll all the way down and select accept, which will then allow us to set up some kind of protection to our phone. Now we have two different methods of doing it. We have the face unlock and we have password, which technically includes pin, pattern or password. And if you're planning to use face recognition, you will always be required to set up a, I guess let's call it password for the simplicity. The reason for that is if something would happen to your face or maybe the camera, then you would lose access to your phone, but you would still have the way of unlocking it through the pin pattern or password. And obviously you can also skip any kind of protection if you want to, though I don't think it's recommended. Then we have some recommended personalized search. Uh, so we have some kind of efficient online search service, whatever. You can read exactly what this is. And if you don't, don't like it, turn it off, which is what I will be doing. And looks like this finishes up the setup. So let's select get started. And there we go. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.